so we told you guys we had some time to kill and we're gonna go do some more adventuring. Let's show you where we are. What on earth is that thing? Well, the answer to your question is, we're gonna go drive around the country in a slide-in truck camper that we have completely redone ourselves. We got a lot of cool stuff coming to you. I We're think. going to be towing two different types of watercraft. But before we show you any more about this, we gotta show you how we got here. Here's from the beginning. My truck is still here. Yeah, it's been sitting here for like a year, so can't expect that to happen. <sighs> it smells like rat pee. So we were on our way to go look at our very first truck camper and we had it all scheduled with this guy down in Hollywood to meet him at 4.30 and we had taken Philly's cap off the truck and we were working our way down there only to realize that we right. need new tires. We need new tires. I got one new tire already because I'm just trying to save money and do things one at a time unless we get some sponsors on board to kind of help out with things and tires and sponsors are a big uh, potential. Um, potential. So I got one tire replaced that had a big bulge in it and sure enough another tire just formed a big bulge and all of my tires have like cracks in them and stuff. They're old and they need to be replaced. So I'm just going to get all new tires and we go with the cheapest budget version. And uh, I mean, still reliable, but oh, maybe down the line we'll get a sponsor on board to help us out with some nice off-road tires or something like that. But for now, we'll at least just make sure it's reliable. So we were on 95 and everything just started shaking as soon as you hit a certain speed. And then we pulled over on the side to find another giant bulge. So it was a sign we weren't we were on the fence about even wasting our time to go look at this one because it's listed extremely cheap. The pictures are really bad, but it looks like there could be a lot wrong with it. And we decided to try it, but this was our sign to turn back. So, new tires, and then we're off, not tomorrow, but the next day to go look at two more. So, hopefully we make it there. I'm off to get some new tires. Lord, please help me. He is in love with that truck and he will not give it up. Not that we can afford to get another truck, but we could be on the lookout and he will not allow it. Okay, today's day number two, searching for our new tiny home on land. We got new tires. So now we just drove two and a half hours to a town called Bartlow, Florida. And Bartow. Bartow. Arto, Florida. We saw donkeys and horses and cows and birds. And all through the middle of the state of Florida. Like a, it's dead all yeah. and a dead gator on the side of the road. Got the full effect down here in Florida. Um, and we're going to look out one this morning and then we're going to drive another two and a half hours to a town called Newberry, Florida. And there's another one there. They're both priced around the same. They're both kind of in the same condition. Um, and we'll just see which one we like better and then make an offer, I think. Yeah, we like them. Land life, people. <laughs> we are inside camper number one. So far, so good. Okay, we officially looked at 
today's first camper and what do you think? Looks pretty good. I mean, it's older. It's not perfect, that's for sure. But for the price, I think it's it's a pretty good option. I yeah, I think we might go for it. Yeah. So our budget is around four grand. This one was listed at six thousand, I think, four hundred or nine hundred. And I told the guy because it had been listed for a while. I was like, our budget's closer to four. Is that anywhere in your range of what you would accept? Um, he said the AC isn't working right now. Well, it's it turns on, but it's not blowing cold. So I can work with you on that. And we told him what our budget was. He's like, just come look at it. And he told us today that's his absolute bottom line. And I think it must might save us another 200 mile drive to the next one. Now. We're getting food. So we just finished eating lunch, and after we filled our stomachs, we decided we're going for the first one we looked at. <laughs> we're not even gonna drive. It's another three hours, so we're just gonna stay here. It's about 30 minutes to the bank. We're gonna go get our moolah, bring it to the guy, and then load it up. And it's not the very first one we looked at. We looked at a few other ones, like a couple new ones, just to get a sense of what they're about and we looked at the pop-up the other day and so and we've seen a few of them so I think I'm feeling good are you feeling good I'm feeling good about it feeling good our next tiny home just took out a huge wad of cash and now I'm on edge <laughs> no stopping straight to our camper and we have a friend I think that's good luck. I have some ratchet straps in my truck, but we're just going to get some more new ratchet straps from Home Depot um, because we don't have the proper truck camper uh, support bars that bolt into the frame of my truck. We're going to use ratchet straps. I actually have some nice attachment points in the bed and then four more attachment points on the truck camper that I'll probably just use ratchet straps, straps to go around my truck to the frame. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make sure it's nice and secure before uh, we leave. And we'll eventually get that. Bomb. Yeah, yeah. There you go, some Husky ratchet straps. We already have four, so we got two more. And he's pretty solid. We got the truck camper on the back of my truck right now. You can kind of see it. We're official. We're $4,000 poor, but we got a lot of cool stuff coming. Camper work to start, that's yeah. for sure. So we're probably gonna, Billy's gonna work on his truck. I'm gonna work on just updating the interior a little bit. We'll put in some new floors, paint the cabinets, and just clean everything. And that shouldn't take too long, and then we will be off. I'm excited. So. So, truck camper life for a little bit. Yeah, so we don't have the correct mounting brackets right now, so tell us what you did. I filmed what it looked like. Yeah, I used the ratchet straps that we just got at Home Depot and just ratcheted them down to the frame of the truck and we put a few extra on there just in case and we'll just go real slow and yeah, obviously it's not the exact right way you're supposed to do it, but we'll make do to just get, you know, a couple hours down to Jupiter and it's all, it's not really any major highways we can go pretty slow and just take it easy and make sure we get there safely two and a half hours and we should be back and then we'll unload it and work begins so like we told you guys the other day we bought this for four thousand dollars it's in really good shape it's just a little outdated so we're going to spice up the inside but before we do that let me give you a little tour so you can see what it looks like before all of our work come on
What do you call a kitchen in a camper? It's a galley on a boat. What is it in the camper? Anyway, a galley. It is? Yep. Okay, well, welcome to our galley. We have an oven that honestly looks like it's never even been used. A stove. Three burner this time. We're stepping up in the world. And a sink. We got lots of storage under all of these. And we even have a really cool cassette player. What's a cassette player? I don't even know. <laughs> Lots more storage. We even have a fan for our oven. Does it work? I don't know. Oh, a light. Whoa. Yeah, cool. High tech. Awesome. Sweet. Welcome to our refrigerator. It is currently off, but got some nice room. I think there's even a freezer. Cool beans. The greatest set of this entire thing. Look up. An air conditioning unit. <laughs> it's a heater as well and the heat works. The AC is not blowing extremely cold so we're probably going to have to replace it or do something with it but we will have AC. Our dinette I think is what they call it. This goes down and makes a bed. This Look, more space, also folds down. And makes a kid size bed. 150 pound limit, but pretty cool. So we could technically sleep two, four, five. This is actually gonna be our surfboard storage. <laughs> and we have a queen size bed. We're gonna take this out and we're gonna get a new mattress, but yeah, bigger than our bed on the boat. And we have a nice opening hatch right here. Two more windows that both open up for a nice breeze on the side. And let me take you into our bathroom. We have a nice little toilet and wet dry shower. So the shower's right here. You got your sink, a little medicine cabinet. Some more storage. You think all of our stuff will fit? That's about it. The plan is to paint all the walls and cabinets, put in some vinyl flooring, put in some like sticker tile backsplash back here, and contact paper for a countertop. So it'll get a nice new fresh look. Okay, time to start taking stuff out. 